Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, August 24th. Welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. <laughs> you know, the title of the video tonight is Move On From The Stress. And the Lord, he, he has this wonderful sense of humor sometimes because the tripod that I use to make the videos, part of it fell apart tonight. So I can't use the tripod and I can't use the mic that I normally use. So the sound might be a little different and I'm hand holding this, so it might be a little bit shaky. But I could stress about it, but then I'm doing this video, I'll move on from the stress. So God is helping me to understand, listen to what you say, pal, it's gonna work out. So here we go, move on from the stress. And what I'm talking about is moving on from the stress of this presidential election. I want you to be involved. I want you to pick the candidates you want to vote for. I want you to promote that candidate. But what I think the scripture doesn't want you and me to do is to get all tied up in knots as if everything hinges on this election. It doesn't. It hinges on the will and purpose of God. So we do our thing. We're faithful at it. But we understand that neither our votes or the people who are being voted upon for they're not controlling things. Listen to what Psalm 146 says from verses of, um, three, through, 3 through 7. Psalm 146, 3 through 7. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There's no help for you there. Your translation might read, don't put your help in princes. Powerful people is a good understanding of what that means, because Prince is controlled at the time that this passage is written. Don't put your hope, your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. Well, we are being inundated by powerful people who tell us to put our hope in them. And what the Holy Spirit is saying, no, don't do that. There's no hope for you there, no help at all for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and all their plans die with them. All these grandiose plans to save the economy, to protect our country, all those things, if they're not rooted, grounded upon the promises of God and His Word, they're going to die with them. No matter how eloquent they are, they are no, power, no matter how powerful they are, no matter how many votes they get. Don't stress. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth and all their plans die with them. And we spend too much time stressing about people and things that are going to return to the earth and die. But rather, verse 5, now we have something to be rejoicing in and be thankful for. In the face of all this political mess, the election and the stress and all of that, which I'm saying, move on from it. The psalm says, but joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper. Do we grasp that? The Lord of heaven and earth, he is our helper. We're accountable to him first. Like I said, vote for the person you want to vote for. Go for it. I'm all for it. But don't lose sight of where your real hope comes from. Joyful are those who have the God of Israel as our helper. We need to be joyful in this time. Not joyful in the things of men, but joyful that God is our helper. Let me read it again. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made the heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. Can you imagine? Look, God is saying, trust me, because I keep every promise forever. There's not one politician on this planet that can say that, and certainly not one in this election. We know about the flip-flops, etc., etc. This God that we serve keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed. He's going to make it right, brothers and sisters. He's going to make this thing go the way he wants it to. Maybe we can't see it, but he does. 
It gives justice to the oppressed, food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. That's why we can move on from stress. This is the commitment that God gives to us. Verse 8 begins, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. God will not be mocked. He will not leave us. He will bring honor to his name. Maybe in a different way than you and I think he should, but he's going to do it. And all these empty promises, they're going to return to earth. And they're going to die right along with the people that made them. We don't even have a guarantee of what's going to happen between now and election day. But God does. He will bring about things as he has planned, as he has purposed. And he's interested in his honor and his glory and his people taking comfort in him. So move on from the stress and take the words of the Holy Spirit through the psalmist, but joyful of those who have their God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. If we don't have joy, then we're missing the point. We're not we're living the way the world does, and we're going to be captured by stress. Move on from the stress. Rejoice that God is on the throne, and our outcome is secure. I'd love your thoughts and feedback on this. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying bail. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm saying do everything you know to do. But remember, joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their hope their helper. So for those whose hope is the Lord their God, not a particular candidate, not a particular platform, not a particular agenda, but only joyful for the Lord. And he will bring about his promise and he will honor it. And that's our hope. Think about that. Join with me. Move on from the stress. And Lord willing, we'll see you on uh, Monday. Have a good day of worship tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you.